Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new YouTube video, and today we're going to be talking about the Jake versus Tyrone Woodley fight. So let's get into the brass, surprisingly. So let's get into my predictions. First off, I think round one, I reckon Jake Paul will absolutely smash Tyrone Woodley. I don't think Tyrone Woodley will have anything on Jake Paul, purely because he's a lot older than Jake Paul. Jake Paul is in his 20s, Tyrone Woodley is nearly in his 40s. I just think Jake Paul has a massive physical advantage on him. If we're talking about the advantage of who is the biggest bell end, I'm going to go with Jake Paul. Because you know what they say, the bully always wins. If you're a bully, it's not cool. I used to be a bully. Stop bullying. So what we've seen from Jake, I think he's got a massive advantage in the age category, physical advantage. He's in that mindset where he's ready to smash anyone. The only downside is he hasn't really thought a proper boxer. He fought, he fought Nate Robinson. He fought Ben Askren. So a tub of lard. And a basketball player. There's no more. Maybe instead of doing a boxing fight, Nate Robinson should have done a Space Jam movie. With all this taken into consideration, I think Jake Paul will knock out Tyrone Woodley round two and win. This fight is going to be an amazing fight. I'm looking forward to watching it. I just hope it's longer than two seconds, Ben Askren and Nate Robinson. Purely because I want to see a lot more action. I want to see a lot more stuff happening during the fight. Because it will be an amazing fight and I think both of them will perform amazingly. But I feel like I need to see both of them perform incredibly and perform for a long time. I know the goal is to knock out the opponent, or especially for Jake, to uh, to win. To win the quickest. But at the same time, I want to see the fight go on for a longer. I want to see how the fight plays out. So yeah, that's my opinion. So I'm going to actually pass it over to Brass now. And I'll be back in a bit. Well, it seems that Jake Paul is about to have his first real test against former UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley. But if I'm being honest, I do not believe that Woodley could pull this one off. And I'm going to be explaining why I believe that in this video. First of all, the way that Woodley throws his right hand. When he throws his right hand, he's usually leaving himself open for a counter left hook, which is one of Jake's best weapons. And we've seen how Jake dealt with someone with the exact same flaw as Tyron Woodley. All he needed to do was use the left hook to set up the right hand, and that was lights out. And not to mention that Tyron is getting old, which means on fight night we're going to see a slower, less powerful, more shaky chin Tyron. And physical wise, Jake has every single advantage on Tyron. Jake is taller. And he also has more reach than Tyrone. And in general boxing fundamentals and technique, Jake Paul is superior. Either way, how I believe the fight would go is that Tyrone would come out aggressive in round one. There will be a lot of clinching and jabbing from Jake. And Tyrone may land a single shot which stuns Jake, but Jake would probably hang on so he doesn't get dropped. Round 2 starts and Jake starts using his advantages, his reach, his height. He keeps Tyrone at a jab's distance and probably lands one big shot which may stun Tyrone but it doesn't quite drop him. And then round 3 starts. Now this is where I believe things would spice up and Jake would let his hands go. And he'd probably find an opening and land a right hand on Tyrone which drops Tyrone for the first time in the fight. And Jake will probably go in for the kill, but the bell saves Tyrone in round 3. And in round 4, Jake would probably recognize the fact that he's able to hurt Tyrone. So he's going to go in for a right hand and then drop Tyrone completely. And that would be the end of the fight in my opinion. So my predictions are that Jake wins by a 4th round now. I think what he meant to say was a round 2 knockout. But what do you think? You've heard me and Bross' opinion on the subject. What do you think? Comment down below. This is one of the first fights I'm actually looking forward to the undercard and looking forward to the whole fight because normally the fights before the main event bore me to fuck. I'd rather film a reaction video than do that or watch Space Jam 2, either way. It's going to be a very intriguing fight. Jake Paul has a lot of advantages, but Tyron Woodley has the experience, so we're just going to have to wait and see on the day, but I reckon it's going to be one of the best fights in YouTube boxing history, but not even YouTube boxing, I feel like Jake Paul has come to that level where he's not YouTube boxing anymore, he is going mainstream, he is going mainstream fast. So thank you for watching today's YouTube video, please subscribe to Brass, his link will be down in the description, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter,
The Real Lads is coming back better than ever. Just chatting where I'm trying to get Brass on. So, at him and tell him to come on my podcast. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. This has been Samuel and Brass. And we're out. Peace. Bye-bye.